Hello, little Tommy. How goes the weather? It's a lovely day, actually. It's a very nice evening, I think. It's a very lovely evening. Okay, so... We're back in Assassin's Creed 2. We're back at the Villa Auditory with the little Tommy flying around with the Assassin flag there in the distance. Was that there before? I don't remember that being there before. But yeah, it's a lovely day. The sun is shiny, but it's not too sunny because we can actually see things without the sun glare blinding us. It's beautiful. Right, okay, so let's jump down from here. So, what have we got to do this week? Well, first things first, for those of you that are noticing this when it came out, it is actually now on the Monday because uh, Overlord Raising Hell finished, so now we're, now we're here doing this. On a weekday. On a Monday. But anyway, right, we'll collect the money. I don't think there's anything else to do. I don't think there's anything to do. I think we're going straight into the memory, the story memory, because oh, unfortunately we did lots and lots of side business last time, so I think we'll just get straight into it, shall we? I think so. Right, okay, so that's everything there done. We've got all that gear looted and sorted. Suited and booted. Uh, we've got all the things from there, apart from which we can't do. So let's go into the black market square. Or rectangle. And we'll go and see what we can get. So if we speak to Nero Smith and we'll repair our armor, we don't need to. Armor, we can't buy any armor. Weapons, we can't buy any small no, ammunition. We cannot. Yes, you did not. Uh, there was actually a picture of you that uh, Nick Pro did, sir. Nick, n Nick? I was going to say, you, I was going to call you Nick then. Uh, Nero Smith. He actually did a picture of you. He did, he did, he did you in Minecraft. It's a very lovely picture. Right, okay, and then we'll go speak to Mr. Owl. Pouches, no pouches. Dye clothes. I'm going to actually dye my clothes, but not that one. Oh, well, next time. Yes, because the white is nice, but I'm going to sort of mix it up every so often. Uh, there isn't any new ones to look at. Paintings, we've got all the paintings, treasure maps, we've done treasure maps. So I'm going to change it to what the black one from uh, Florence when we go there, because obviously that's the next place we've got to go to. Is this Dr. Volcano? It is Dr. Volcano, I think. Oh, please, sir. I'll go. I'm gone. I'm sorry. I didn't know I did anything. Yeah, okay, so now we're going to go and head off to da, 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 Florence and do the story mission. Okay, so at Mr. Owl's, Mr. Owl's shop, his franchise in Florence, uh, we're going to dark clothes. I believe it's these ones. Yes, I'm going to go for Florentine Mahogany because, damn, look at them clothes. Oh, they're so lovely. Look at them. Oh, I'm having them. Thank you very much for dyeing them this colour again, Mr. Owl. Come again. I will. Maybe. No, I won't. I'll be going somewhere else to get some other colours. Yeah, these are nice ones. I'll be happy with these ones. So, if we remember last time in Story Missions, what was happening? We were... Just uncovered the truth about... Or the plan that uh, the Templars were having. They were going to murder the Medici family at uh, High Mass. And obviously, we, the Volpe told us. So, I think it's time to do this. Is it not? It is. Uh, before we do that, actually, I just want to have a look at the conspirators because it's should be updated. Yeah, seriously, we've got some more uh, 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 conspirators now. We've got Jacobo di Pazzi. No, I'm looking at Rodrigo Borgia in the centre, who's connected to Francesco di Pazzi, our target for now. Then Jacobo di Pazzi, who is linked to Antonio Maffei, a questionable man, and someone in Tuscany and a Venetian, so it's not really much different. Okay. Right, let's do the story mission. Wolves in sheep's clothing. Prevent the conspirators from attacking the Medici family. Except, I'm ready. <clears throat> Locate Francesco Di Pazzi. Where would he be? Because I think it's Easter time, is it not? I believe that's what they were saying. Right, but Francesco Di Pazzi is down here somewhere. In this big crowd outside the... Santa Maria del Fiore. Ah. Where is he? I see him at the front. There's Lorenzo and his wife. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? There he is. Time to strike. Crespa! Traditore! Giuliano! No! No! In nome di Dio! Mi son giuro, pietà! Nessuna pietà! Your day is done, Lorenzo. Your entire family dies by my sword. 
I'm helping. Oh god, Lorendo is dying. Come on, guards. Oh, I killed one. Oh, we've got some of these guards as well. That's good. Right, come on. Oh, I've got him in the back. That's good. Okay, who's next? He's low on health. Power attack and kill him quickly. Good. So many of them. Look at them all. It's not who I wanted to go for, but oh well. Stab him in the back. Not him. The other guy. This one. No, this one. There we go. Not quite what I meant, but it worked. There's, there's Franco Cesco de Pazzi. I'll get you in a second, sir. Ooh, I sliced his forehead open. <laughs> I think I scalped that one. <laughs> That's not in this game just yet. All right, Franco, G Franco de Pazzi. Francesco de Pazzi. It's just you and me. Come on, you Templar dog. My free wheel tells me to kill you. Yes, I see why you want to stop it, but no. Punch you in the face of that. Come on, Lorenzo, with me. We attack him together. Oh, no, you are wounded, wounded though. Defend Lorenzo de Medici. He's getting away. But he's... Hey! Ow. Damn it. He got away. Just stay in there, Lorenzo. There's only two of them. And they're only little whelps. They're only wee little pups. They ain't gonna last very long. Told you. You saved my life. It's nothing. But the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah! Not now. I need help first. To my home. Uh, people I trust them. Can you... Ah! On me. I'll make sure you get there safely, Lorenzo. But he got away. I'm losing a lot of blood. Hang on, signore. I'm moving as fast as I can. Francesco de Pazzi! I'll kill him. I'll wipe his entire family from the city. They'll be erased! Quietatevi, signore. Conserve your energy, or I'll be delivering a corpse. We're almost there now. He says. What is it with these Italians and erasing family for... Oh, sorry, sir. And erasing family... The entire family lines. <laughs> like, I suppose it is the... Um, what's it called? Like, the legacy. The family's legacy. But, uh, not... Oh, what was I don't know what I saying. Yeah, not every de Pazzi is evil. Stay close. All right, stay with me. Can we get down here? Oh, look, we can get down here. Ah! God, they're everywhere. Then again, they did have enough uh, weapons to supply a whole battalion of troops, didn't they? Sorry! You all look the same, except for the colours. Maybe if you change to Florentine Mahogany. I've not forgotten how to wage war. I had Oi. hoped combat would be avoided. <laughs> I had hoped combat would be avoided. So be it. It's an attack! I'm sorry for waving my sword around at you. Oh, we're nearly there. Okay, okay, Lorenzo. Oh dear. It was an ambush. I would do my new move that I learnt with the throwing knives, but it might hit Lorenzo. Ah, troops! Take out the whelps. I should be helping out Lorenzo, actually. He's the one with low health. Make sure my protected target is alive. Right, that's you dealt with. Where is he? Is there some more left? There are some more left. They still have time to flee. Oh no, I killed the guy that was fleeing. I'm sorry, sir. Right, come on, Lorenzo. I think we're here. Into circle. Into the circle. Let's go. Lorenzo has been wounded. Aprite la porta. What's the password? Polizia. Open the maledetta porta! Why the thrice greatest? Come in, quickly! The city is at war! Hurry! Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. 
My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh, uh, Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. Who put you in charge? Wave your finger at me. It wasn't me, sir. Listen closely, people. If you know something, come forth. Him. Did you see what happened here? <laughs> no. And many shits like you, I have always. Why are you not helping me, troops? These are evil people. Oh dear. Yeah, who gave him command of me? I am a freelance assassin. Yeah. Right, okay, anyway, we've got a database entry for Francesco de Pazzi, and of course we do look at the enemy ones, so we're going to look at that now, so locations, no targets. Here we go, and Francesco de Pazzi. And Kushorn. Francesco de Pazzi. Brought up as a noble in a city captivated by the newly rich Medici family, Francesco was taught to hate the middle class and its social climbers. Dismayed, he watched as the Medici bank eclipsed his own and centuries of influence over the Florentine government slipped away. It looks like the Spaniard offered him a solution. Rather than compete in something as dirty as banking, Francesco only had to do one thing for the Templars, one thing to put the middle class in their place for good. Kill the Medici. Giovanni Auditore tried to stop Francesco by putting him in jail, but the Templars took care of that. That was not a very nice picture of my puppy. Right, Francesco de Pazzi, date of birth, 1444, professional noble banker. Okay, sorted. Now, let's continue all the missions. I don't think there's anything else to do. So, uh, were you a uh, Palizio or something like that? I, I couldn't quite see what your name was. You must be the captain of the... Ah! Enemies! Get them! Oh, you want to do a story mission, you. Who do you all have to blame for not doing story missions? This Borgia carrier. Oh, he's got a bit louder. Cheeky little git. Come here, you, you little bum. Where you gone? There we go. Hey, you're coming with me. Get off the Plaza de Benici. You are not welcome. <laughs> Stay away from my sister. Oh, wait, that was the other guy. <laughs> Sorry about that, Polizio, or whatever your name is. Talk. Signore, I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! At least they represent... At least, at least they recognise my, uh, you know... stature and a prowess at killing. Find and kill Francesco de Pazzi. Accept. That's what I'm here to do. Time to tuck that guy in for his sleepy times. Right, okay, we're going to avoid the fighting. I'll take him to the rooftops. Gotta to get to the Palais de la Signoria. Yeah, to, to prison. Got to go to prison. Ah, there it is. I see the tower. Is that it? No. Hello, thieves. What I would ask you. I would ask you to assist me, but I don't think I need your assistance right now. But thank you anyway. Oh, what was that? Was that a, oh, that was a herald. Why are they still shouting? It's a battle. It's a war zone. Welcome to Earth. I meant to say war. Damn it. It did not work. Why can you climb up? I know it's a slippy surface, but still. Go on, pigeons. Try and find Francesco de Pazzi and inform me of his location. Where are they going? This is leading me to... No, it's not. It's leading me around. It's straight through the Santa Maria. Don't worry. We'll get there. There it is. I see it now. With a big old tower. It's a weird tower because it's got, obviously, the larger structure at the top. I'm not, I'm not big. I'm not, I don't think I like it, if I'm honest. How am I going to get down safely? I could have jumped into that. I still can. Right, there's no fighting, so I think we're safe. That's good by my standards. Right, okay, let's jump over there. Up here. And then we should be able to run all the way now. We could get rid of our notoriety. But I think we're going to be alright. Oh, look, there's the, there's the panel of pigeons place. 
their meeting place, the whatever it is. Oh, I can hear some fighters in the round. Where am I going? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was further or closer than I thought I was. Right. Oh. Okay, and start mission. You again? Why aren't you dead? Men, slaughter him! Time to make you go the way of the dodo. And your son. And soon to be your brother or uncle. I'm not sure who the other guy is. The other Patsy. Jacobo de Patsy. Not sure if he's a relative of yours or whatever. Right, okay. I think Super Stealthy will be good here. They don't get close enough to assassinate from them from a ledge. Uh, but I can't get up. Oh no, am I going to have to kill them? I was going to go all Super Stealthy like. Oh no, I know I do. Ah. By ignoring. So I need to get to the ladder. How many have we got? We've got two there, and we've got two over there. There's a way. There's not a way to stealthily kill them because none of them. Oh, well, it's free there. So there's not a way to stealthily kill them, is there? Okay, we'll do it this way around instead then. <laughs> All right. Well, if we can't stealthily kill them, we'll kill them the old-fashioned way by shoving a sword through their belly. I'm hoping they die. Well, hopefully they just die. This one's a tough one. This one's a toughie. Not as tough as I thought. Where do you have two guys? Did I just leg it? <laughs> oh no, I'm not fighting the assassin. So your friends are going to kill me, like that one down there. Oh, they've seen me. Let's do, while we're here, and we actually can, let's do this. Let's do this, let's do this move with the throwing knives. Why can't I? Why can't I do it? Why can't I do it? Why can't I do it? I'm trying to do it! Oh, that's not fair! Oh, well, I've got two. Well, let the other one live. Right, okay. Francesco de Pazzi, your life is mine. Come here, you little bugger. Guards! Guards! No one's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! How on earth did he do that? Pigeons! Stop him! There he is! Go! Get out of my way! Just go to Patsy, quick, running like a mouse. Face me like a man. I thought you Templars had more. Uh, I don't know. Get him! No, don't do that. Gotcha. Good night, Francesco de Patsy. Sleep tight. Now Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace. Libertà! 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 Popolo e libertà! Francesco? <laughs> what an ending. Oh, and it looks like the animus is going down. Uh, are we leaving Animus? Are we finally leaving Animus? Memory sync sequence 4 complete. We must be. It's been far too long since we haven't come, we've come out of the Animus. 
It must be unhealthy for me. Meaning Desmond. Right. Well, oh, this is exciting. I can't wait. <gasps> Jacobo? Wait, no. Jacobo said to Francesco. Francesco? I'm sure he's Jacobo de Franci. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're still not. We're still not out with the Animus. How long are we going to go? Republica Florentina, 1478. Is that a year after our events of the last sequence? Can't have been. We might say, you never know. Okay, well let's see what this sequence has in store for us. I think there's about 12, maybe 13 sequences in the game. So, just so you know where in retrospect we are. Okay, so is this Lorenzo de Medici? Hello, Lorenzo de Medici. How are you, sir? When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I walked to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei, Archbishop Francesco Salviati, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene. I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait. Before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco de Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity. As did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. The Patsy Conspirators. This actually does some stuff, so we're going to read that one. Okay. Jacopo di Pazzi. The money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family, and he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de' Medici, he had nothing against him personally. So he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Baroncelli. Brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnone. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de' Medici in the back. Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined the Templars to seek revenge. It was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city. There we go. Giacomo de Pazzi did a birth, 1421 profession banker noble. Bernardo di Bano Bononcelli date of birth, 1456, 1453 profession banker. Uh, Stefano di Bongnone date of birth, 1418 profession priest, advisor to Giacomo di Pazzi. Antonio Maffei, I got that one right. Date of birth, 1450 profession priest. Francesco Salviati date of birth, 1443 profession archbishop of Pisa. And that's the Pazzi conspirators our next targets.